Here's a preview of how the AMP for WordPress plugin lets you get the performance benefits on AMP on much more of your site. And it lets you make sure that everything that you expect to display in your site will. This is in RC1 now, and we'd appreciate your feedback on how this looks on your site. Let's take a look at the benefits that you'll see with this in your site. You can see that this is the 2017 theme, and it's possible to show this with AMP, as we'll look at. But at the same time, there's a whole workflow for making sure that this displays just as you expect. AMP doesn't allow some elements in order to get the performance benefits that it does, for example, scripts. So, here is a WordPress post, and there is a validation error. So let's take a look at that. That's from an example plugin that is just outputting that script intentionally, so we can see that. Now, we can decide what to do here. Because it says new rejected here, it will keep the non-AMP version of that page just like we saw. So there won't be any AMP errors and you'll get that script if that's what you need. For example, if it's something like an ad script that you haven't converted to an AMP element. But if you do want to display that as AMP, there's a whole workflow for doing that. So what we can do is instead of new rejected is just accept that error. So we're going to say that we'll show that post as AMP, that the plugin will automatically strip the script. So we'll update. And now we'll see the message. So this will display as a fully valid AMP page. It will automatically remove the script. We'll click here to see an AMP page. So it's fully valid and you'll also see that it is the same as the non-AMP page before. For example, if we go to view the non-AMP version, you'll see it displays pretty much the same. The audio widget looks a little bit different with the AMP element, but it also plays and it's very similar. So you can run almost your entire site based on the elements that you need to output as AMP. And there's a full workflow to make sure that you're getting everything that you expect to appear on your AMP pages.